welcome back today I'm on the Mac now I want to look at the new Abbey fine reader and just show you the principles and the new options I'll try and compress it as quick as I can and get you up and running so I've got the seven day trial here and I've got a limit of 90 87 pages now when you open it up you get these three options Abbey fine reader PDF viewer quick conversion and advanced conversion now Abbey Fine Reader PD Viewer is a great option, files on your Mac and viewing them in a PDF reader and it allows you to highlight them and edit them as well and work with them. The next option is Quick Conversion. So we can do a quick conversion from a file or image format you have on your Mac and we can then convert it into any one of these formats including an option here with all formats to have a look at. Also Community Camera to also record images and then convert them last of all advanced conversion we can do all what we did before we've got an extra option with scanning from your scanner and you can even import images for new optical character vision projects or open an existing one so i'm going to start with the first option and it's on my mac and i'm going to select a pdf to work with so it says open pdf document now i'm just going to open i've got one here so i'm going to double tap it and there it is i can view it quickly and the other thing gives me a great option is to highlight information there as well. You might need to do that. So I can now. I can change the colour there. Maybe blue, come down and highlight the abstract. And the other option we've got here is OCR. So I can convert that into another format by clicking OCR. Let's give it a go. So it says Open Document OCR Editor. And once it's loaded, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to maximize it. Now, can you see where it's added these colors here? Now, if I come to the left here, you can see the color code in here. So, different fields to recognize different options within that document. So, that being text or green, the pinky color will be images, the blue will be tables, and your last option will be background picture areas. And at the bottom here, you can also draw recognition area if you're not sure which one it is as well. So if I come to the left, you can see, actually, if I come back there, you can see where it's done these as tables down here, blue. So it's up to you to check them, go down and make sure everything's fine in case it's missed anything. But that looks pretty good. But I'll show you how to edit something in a moment anyway. So that's looking all fine. So we've got an option here add pages so you might want to import images or scan additional images from a scanner to your current project so on the right here we've got OCR language which currently is English so you can select the one if you select all then it'll give you all the languages that you need in there as well we've got recognition here so if you tap that it will then re recognize that your document so if you've added fields or changed them it will re recognize them for you status pages recognized you can export if you wish to these various formats and portable document format but remember you've got options you might want a searchable PDF or image only and then you can choose your acquired settings down there you have actually got the bottom here advanced settings as well if you need them you've got PowerPoint as well if you need that standard images HTML and rich text format and so on so have a look at the export options got navigation so we're on page seven and we've got zoom options now top right we've got something called image editor if I click on it and this allows you to work with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on page one well you might want to rotate and flip yeah so we can rotate that and flip it if you want as well underneath we've got split pages so you might want to split vertically or horizontal so if I come along you see the horizontal split there so if I tap on it I can now select here and it will split them let's split them for you anyway to show you and select continue and that will split your documents if you're editing working with them we can crop as well what you want to crop there by selecting crop if you wish as well we've got image resolution most scanners and printers work around 300 dots per inch some work at 600 
if you've got high end ones, you're looking at about 1200 dots per inch. To be honest with you, for standard text this size, 300 is enough. If it's really small text, more detailed, then I would probably go 600 dots if you're scanning. Brightness and contrast, and last of all, erase. So I can come in here and erase stuff that I don't want. Doing a rectangle over it. So that's your editing, that's your image editor top right. If I come back out of there. So what I'm going to do is go top left, new task. Now we're going to close that file in the background. Let's go to quick conversion. So now we've got my man. I've got an option to convert to searchable PDF. So we can work with PDFs, Microsoft Words, Excel. I'm going to do a PDF searchable. And I've got a PDF there that I can open. And that will now convert it for me into a searchable PDF. Now that could be handy if you're sharing PDFs and you want people to be able to access them. Maybe to fill in tick boxes, sign signatures. And I'm going to save this to the downloads. I'm just going to call this test search and select export. And there we go. They've got ourselves a searchable PDF. And again, as I said earlier, I've got all the options at the top that you can work with as well, including comments, highlighting, and various information. Now I want to close that and select Done. You've also got continuity camera, so you can use a camera, be it plugged in, or your internal camera, take a snapshot of maybe a book page or, or something with a text image. So what we do is we come down here, you might go, right, I want to take a photo and I want to turn it into a Word document. So then you can take a photo scan documents or add sketch and your services at the bottom as well so you can add to Evernote or use various options here that fit your criteria but I'm going to go down to advanced conversion here because we've looked at Mac you know how to work continuity camera what about scan so you put something in your scanner you want to scan it off and work with it and it can have text images and be quite a complex PDF to work with now and now I can select import images new OCR project which it is tap on that and it now should scan it in for me into Abbey Fine Reader and there we are it's done so I can come down the bottom here I can now click image preview or close I'm happy with full color there as well because it has got color in it and I'm happy with 300 dots per inch See here on the left, recognizing newly added pages automatically, which I've set up, and enhance images. Now, I don't want to split facing pages, so what I'm going to do is select scan again. And I'm going to click close now, and you can see the scans appeared underneath into Abbey Fine Reader. Wait for that to load in. By the way, if you've got any problems with your scanner on your Mac, Come to the top for me, select System Settings, scroll right to the bottom and look for Printer and Scanners and make sure you select it by adding Printer and Scanner here. Sometimes you have to install the scanner driver separate to the printer driver, bear that in mind before it will work. And make sure you select it here at the top and then you're good to go. So there you go, it's even turned, rotated my scan round for me, so I'm going to maximise that. Now I want to work with this image, you can see there's a lot going on. So again, we've got green boxes here, which says here, text. Images are those pink boxes. Blue are the tables. And the option here, the background images, I haven't got any in there anyway. You can see it's already been recognised up here. Again, top right, we could go into Image Editor and work with it there. And you can even use the Eraser option, couldn't you, if you want? Get into what you don't want there. By creating a rectangle around it, if you wish. But I'll come back out there, click Image Editor. And you can see at the top here, Status, Image Fragment Eraser. It tells you exactly what's going on. So I'm going to click Recognize again. That all looks good to me. See the blue here? That sees that as a table. I'm happy with that. The greens, I'm happy with the text. 
up here actually I probably don't want this as text so if I do a right click on it I could analyze that specific area I can even change text orientation and rotate it or delete area which I'm going to do so that's now blank I might more likely tap on the option here as a picture and create a rectangle around it so it sees it more of an image so I'd rather have that as an image than as text and again you can do that with your files working on what you feel is the correct one if you want it as an image or table or text so now I'm going to go to export now I'm going to export that as a word document I've got a choice I want that copy I want an editable copy and select next choose where I'm going to save it to so I'll leave it in my downloads I'll leave it as scan and let the document opened automatically and let's have a look at the word document not bad at all and remember I can tap into these options so I know that's an image and I could drag that where I want I've got the text that I can tap into and edit if I want as well and this remember I decide to add that as an image rather than text so I can move that around as one and close for me and don't save you can also open an existing OCR project now just to point down here bottom left make sure you choose your language and select this option here recognize newly added pages automatically so it analyzes it it adds those fields different color fields so I'll leave that on to do it automatically saves me doing it separately enhance images and correct page orientation so it turns it around for me as well this is actually defaults but you can select defaults if you wish